Uh, good work to everybody. Yeah, tonight's stuff is pay vov. We're on pay hey on the base where the lines get wide, a floor lines up. Boy, you rava. We're in the middle of the sugi of chayvul. Nezek tarif b'shem and boishes. Just a reminder: Nezek is we go ahead and evaluate a person once he's sold before the damage and after the damage on the slave market. Sar, a person whose arm is going to be taken by the malchus, having to be willing to pay to have it done through a uh, drug rather than than a sword. A week boy deductible, Shevis disability will view Ms. Wada Shemiki Shuim and 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 uh and that and she by a push to be said a call the fiam is ba bayesh and miss bayesh. Okay, so let's go. Boy Rava, Kata S Yadai, Blayam Dua. Let's say you go ahead and and uh he cut up his hands and Besan didn't get a chance to go ahead and shots up exactly the Tashlomin. And and before he gets better, she was raglai. Same, I guess it goes ahead and he, and the same guy goes ahead and breaks his foot. But let him do it. And Besden doesn't go ahead and evaluate. Sima Seino is a busy fellow. He blinds his eye. Let him do it. In the end, he became deaf. Now we said yesterday, coming uh, yet coming deaf, you, you're 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 going to pay the full amount of the re, of the sheves. Why? Because he can't do anything. My mia minon. Did we say kim let him do it? We didn't go ahead and evaluate him between each maka. Bechad umdena sagile. The umdana, one umdana will go ahead and compass everything. The Yavle the Mekula Bahadi Adadi. He'll give the what? He'll give the 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 Nezek all at once. Maybe you go ahead and evaluate the the Vina Lay. And we'll go ahead and evaluate each and every one separately. My Nafkamina, what what's Nafkamina? If you go ahead and evaluate each one separately, the boy lemesa lot saru boishes the khal khada khada. You're gonna have to give saru boys out of the five. With the only two that the Shaila is is the Tsar for each and every one and the Boishas for each and every one. Why? Nezek in the end he's going to get his full value, the value based upon whatever. Again, if he's the Cheresh, he, again in the, in the marketplace he'll be worth worth less than everything. Ripui, doctor bills, he never got better. Sheves, he never went back to work. And you know, those three. This is no nafkamina whether the evaluation is done initially or at the end, or each and every time, or or, or each and every time, or at the end. What's nafkamina? V'chadu le'yavlinay. The kibin the kayovle the mekula, and since you're going to go ahead right, and give him the worth of 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 uh, the the nezek command the katli dummy. It's like you killed him. Le'yavle the mekula. I will sad, but so that's that's why you. In other words, at the end, you view him as getting killed a little bit at the time, and therefore, at the end, it, it, once he's dead, he's dead again. We'll view it all as one big tashlumen, and there won't be an afkamina. But why is an afkamina? But sar boishes mia the chol chadim chadiyav. Maybe he has to give sar on each and every one. The havile saru boishes. Each one had its own sar, and each one had its own boishes. And if that's shaila mim tim saloima kiven loy amduha, if you don't go ahead and judge between makal and makal, kayav le the mekula ba the adadi, you're going to go ahead and pay each. You know. Um dua, then uh keep in the layum dua between each maka. So you're gonna give them all one fell swoop. What about this one? Um duhu, what if you do evaluate it? Mahu. Me and me and keep in the um dua since we evaluated it, Khada Khada Boyla May said, Law yes to pay Sar and Baishas for each and everyone separately. Dilma, keep like Shlim, since he didn't pay, you have the Mekula, he goes just one one fine, you know, one payment. And he doesn't go ahead and pay what? Each and every time. The Gemara says, Teku, it remains a Teku. Boy Rabba, Sheves Hapochastoi Bidomen. Okay, now this is an interesting Shiloh. Uh, Rashi explains he hits him a Maka that he needs to go ahead and be out of work. However, in the end, he's going to be totally the same as he was before. And uh, you only have the Sheves of that period of time. In other words, if you would go ahead now and sell him, since he's not in a full state, you, this is speaking about Nezek, guys. So you wouldn't go ahead, Rod, and pay so much for him. But in the end, he's going to get better and be back what he was. So we want to know. Sheva sabachasim b'demei. Hey, what's the din? Do you pay, right, aside aside from the Sheves, do you pay the Nezek? The Sheves, you have to pay. Obviously, he's out of work, guys, right? No matter. Even though he's going to go back to work, he's getting disability right now. We're not discussing that disability. We're discussing Nezek. Nezek is going to get better. So do we say the following? He going, she koral yadai. He went and hit him on his hand. Bitsamsa and his hand withered up. 
In the end, it's going to get back to what it once was. So right now, he can't work. He can't work. But what about Nezek? My, even the Seifa in the end, Lachsar is going to get better. He doesn't pay anything of the Nezek. At this point in time, we went to go ahead and sell him, right? He'd be worth less. It's, it's a very interesting Shiloh. In other words, when we view Nezek, it's only Nezek on, listen to the cases we've been speaking about. Kites Yada, he cut off his arm. Shibes Ragla. In other words, it was a it was a a, a fatal, a fatal, fatal, fatal chavala, fatal, a fatal wound that he hit him with. And therefore, the Nezek, obviously, this is this is a very interesting shaila. Do you Nezek, do you look at the moment or do you look at, at the end? In the end, it's going to be better. So he's he's going to be worth the same in the safe market. So I only have to pay Lucha with the Shabbos at this point in time, the disability. Of course, the Tsar he had at the time or the Baisha he had at the time, but let's we're just disability you have to pay. The question is the Nezek. Do you pay Nezek based upon right now you can't sell him for what he's worth? Or do we say no? In the end, he's going to be back to what he was. You don't pay Nezek. Good. So that's the Marsh Shaila. Tashma, let's be Baisha the Shaila. Okay. Hamaka Imoi. If someone hits his, his parents, now we know if you hit your parents, you make chaburi, you don't pay because come lady the rab me na yichayiv misa. But over here you hit your parents, but you also bechaburi and you didn't make a chaburi at all. You didn't go ahead and make any wound. Ba'chayvul bechaveray biyom kipurim. And again, yom kippa is a chiyav karis. We said this is memory of the gemara of tabach biyom kippa. You pay dalav behei right because you're not chayiv misa. So you go ahead and you, you hit your friend on yom kippa, right? In this case, chayiv bekulon, you be chayiv all five. Nesek tzari pushevus abayshes. Now the Gemara wants to know the following: Haylei asa chabura hechidoni. What's the case that you make a chabura in your parents? Going back to the first of the the first clause, you went ahead, you hit your father and mother. You didn't make a chabura. What's the din? Lav kigoyin sheiko al yadoi besayk by sayf al aser. He hit him in his hand, his hand with it, and the end is going to come back. In other words, it's a wound that will be restored. The ketoni chayiv bekulon. If you hit him on the hand, there is no chabura. There's no chabura, there's no misa. And nonetheless, we say, chayev bekulon. So as far as your shaila, whether you pay nesek on a wound that will go ahead and and, and regenerate, that'll, that'll be back, back to normal, the you would pay. That's what we want to be paisha, the shaila from, the chiv of your appearance that you hit. And we're assuming that what? It's a wound that will, there's no wound at all. And therefore, since there's no wound, it must be speaking, there's no wound. It must be speaking that what? It's going to come back to normal. And nonetheless, it says chayev, and chayev, one of the chiv is nesek. So we push the shaila. Says the no. Ami, what are we speaking about over here? What's the what's the hikod that doesn't have a kabura? You, you went ahead, right, and you you hit your you deafened your parent. One went ahead and, and deafened their parent. And lechayri there's no kabura. And however, it's it's final, right? So in other words, uh, if if you deafen your parent, it's not getting better, guys. Why do we? What, what was what was the? How are we push the shaila? The assumption was there was no chabura, and since there's no chabura, it'll get better. And since it's going to get better, when you chayyeh, we can be pushed to the shaila that a temporary what? A temporary wound is not, you don't pay nesek. You do pay nesek for it. The is saying, no, it's speaking about a final wound, a fatal wound. It's speaking about what you deafened the parent. So it's not, you can't use it to be pushed to shaila because the nesek is final, right? It's the same as making a chabura. Okay. So, but again, but, but there's no chabura by making, a, by, by deafening a parent. Says the Someone who defends a parent is Chayiv Misa. I is no Chabura. There is a Chabura. It's not possible to deafen without a Chabura. And we'll say, Tipsa de Dama, a drop of blood, not the label Udne, fell in the eardrum and, and it was absorbed in the body and you never saw it. So it can't be speaking what? Where, where you deafen the parent, because if you deafen parents, you made a Chabura. And the Bryce is speaking Hamaka of Zavimoy, the Loyas of Bachabura. So Lachar, we have a good it must be speaking a case of what, where it does come back, and must be speaking where Yachai Bakula, including Nasek, it must be we keep Pasha the Shaila. Ella, no, we can't be Pasha the Shaila. Hachamaya Skinon, Kigon Shil Gilchu. You went ahead one and you and you shaved your parents' head. You shaved your parents' head. Now it, the assumption over here is that for some reason, by shaving the head, it, 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 we worth less than the marketplace. But it's gonna grow back. Says Gemara Gilchai, <laughs> you shaved your parents' head. Mahada Hode, it's going to grow back. And nonetheless, you chayiv to pay. The chayiv ba'ayin, behind ba'ayin, that's a shayla. In other words, if you want to tell me that the case is speaking, we're maka of a ve'imoy, that you shaved your parents' head, that will be pashta shayla. Because the here, the here is going to what? 
the hair is going to grow back. The hair is going to grow back. And after the hair grows back, you still have to pay for what, 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 what your father or mother was worth before, before the hair grew back. So be pushed the Shiloh that you have to pay, right? You know, here taking away here and putting back here is the same as, as hitting an arm and the arm withers and gets better. And nonetheless, we say chayiv. So if this is the way you want to fight the brisa that he gets over the email of leisa bechabur that you gave a haircut to them, but gilchas mashma not a haircut, you shave them. I would say that what you could push the shaila. Says more no. Achah meskinon he going she she sachay nasha. He went ahead and used a depilatory, but that depilatory is final. The loy hoda. In other words, it's not never going to go back. You are going ahead, you're putting depilatory on the hair. You're balding a father or a mother forever. Oh, so now you can't be partial to the Shiloh, guys. Why? Because if it's forever, that's not a Shiloh. A Shiloh is when it regenerates, right? Here it's not it's not coming back. Now, what's wrong with what, what what's the problem of, of right? Where's the the Khiu from over here, right? Nesek Tsari Pushevas So the assumption is that it's worth less because there's a, a bald spot or, or whatever. I don't know what it looks like. What about Tsar? Says the Gemara it's Tsar. The Islay Kirtufni Beresha. They have some type of indentation in the scalp. And this psalm that this 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 the, whatever you're putting on there is going to go ahead and, and effective in a negative, negative way. So therefore it's sar, you pay tsar for the pain that the child is that the your father and mother are ongoing because what of the because of the because of the the pain in the in the head. Ripui, what about the doctor bills? The boy has to you have to get it to go ahead and you have to take care of this to get to me. You're gonna to have to go ahead and uh and and pay the doctor bill. So therefore you need you need a psalm to pay it back. Cheves, that now where's the disability? Just because he's bald, where's the disability? Says the market going to have a miracid He was a he was a jester. This guy was a jester. You know what he used to do? He used to dance and shake his head back and forth. That's what he'd do. He would dance and he would shake his head back and forth. And now that he has this 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 difficulty in his kertufni, he can't do it anymore. The boy in machve gavar he has to go ahead and, and move his head back and forth. And now he can't do it. Boy machve behind the kertufni, he can't do it because of these this this kertufni boishes. And the chaboishes the only being what a bald headed being that as a result of what of uh, of this again it must be in a very you know derogatory manner. However, regarding our shaila fellas, he can't be poishes the shaila. Because it's not speaking about a temporary what, a temporary injury. It's speaking about one that's permanent, and therefore you can't be pushed to shaila. However, umilsa de boy le rabba, this shaila of rabba, whether a temporary nezek, you have to pay for it or not. That was was it was pshitulei labaya lahachkisa rava lahachkisa. It was pushed to abaya to one side of his of his chakira, and according to rava, the other side. Did mar ki ko al yadoi. If he hits him on his hand, but some say with his receiver locks are, and the end it's going to come back to normal. A buyer Omar buys of the opinion that what? Nois in law Sheves Gedoyla, he pays the Mayado, he pays Nezek, the Sheves Katana, and he pays he pays the disability. So what do you see? According to a buyer, you pay. Sheves Gedoyla is what is, is Nezek. The Rava Omar, Rava's of the opinion, ain't a nois in law, Ella, the May Shift, I Shabakal Yom Yom. He only pays the disability, but he doesn't pay the Nezek. So what was a Shiloh, according to Rabbah, was uh, Abai was Poishet Yisicha do pay, and Rabbah's Poishet Nezek, you do not pay. Everyone's good. Not, not, a, not a difficult Gemara. Itmar. Hakatir Yad Evid Ivri, Shel Chaveri. Someone goes ahead and, and, and he, he amputates the Evid Ivri's arm of his friend. Abai Omar, now Evid Ivri is a Jew of Dover. So Noisla Sheves Gedoyla, Le Evid, he gives the Nezek, he pays the Nezek to the Evid. The Shevis Katana and the Bittel Malacha, the disability, the Rav. He pays it to the Rav, to the Master. Rav Amar, Hakol, Yinasim, the Eved. Everything goes to, goes to the Eved, even the disability. The Yelachik bin Karka, and you buy Karka as, a, as an investment, and now you rent it out. The Rav, Vaychel Paris, and the Rav will eat the pay. Maybe you don't rent it out, you don't rent it out, the Rav will eat the Paris, so the Rav will get something from it. Pshita says the Gemara, it's Pashit. Pikes Eitzel Atzmoy. If you go ahead and hit the Evid Ivri, of course he gets the Nesek. Who else is going to get it? Right? The Eitzel Rabba Le Piches, the Hechidami, what must be speaking about? The Poske Le Reish Unya, or the Reish Nechira. Let's say he cut off his ear tip or he cut off his nostril. 
than Hakola Atzmai. So it's Poshit, fellas, in a case. This is not a kasha. It's a statement. In a, in a case where he devalued the Eved, but the Eved will still be able to work. In other words, there was an injury, but it's not going to affect his ability to work. So, for example, you cut off part of his ear or you, or you slit his nostril. In that case, uh, the Paschal Leresh Onyo Leresh Nechira, Hakola Atzmai, right? And then even the Eved, the, you'll go ahead, you'll pay, you'll buy you'll buy a field, and in that case, the rabbi won't even pay us. This is again the way Rashi means. Piches, it's rabbi. If he does go down in value, right, then plug to the buyer of rabbi, that's my like it's a buyer in rabbi. According to, uh, according to buyer, you'll pay. According to rabbi, you, it, it'll go to the rabbi. According to the rabbi, it'll, it'll go to the ebb. Boish is a call of him, a vayish from a spayish. Busha, everything will go according to the one that's embarrassed and the one that's embarrassed. Again, so the, if the lower the person that's embarrassing, the the greater the busha, the low the higher the person embarrassed is the more more busha. So I guess the most most busha would be if a poor person goes ahead and embarrasses a prince. That, that and that's the dogma. If you have a low life going ahead and, and, and embarrassing a prince, that's more that's more embarrassing than if a prince would embarrass a low life, right? Those are two extremes. Money must need. So who's the Tanavan Mishnah? Okay. So who 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 who's who's the Tana of our Mishnah? Money must be son. Loy Reb Meir, Loy Reb Yehuda, El Reb Shimon. So we're going to three three sheetas Tanoim fellas, and we're going to see the only one that would work out that everything is according goes according to the individual with right is only is Reb Shimon. Now who are they? The Tanan. We have a Mishnah or the Tanya. We have a, a Brisa. The Kulan, all of them. Rain Oisay, Kilu Heim Bnei Chayrin, Shiadim and Chsayim. Right when we, when we go ahead and evaluate embarrassment. We view any person that's embarrassed as if he's a free man. That the other men will say him that hit tough times. Shehem b'nei Avram Yitzchak b'Yakov. The Reb Meir. So lo Reb Meir, guys. There is one payment busha for all. Kulam. Everyone's equal. We'll view him as what? The old Jews. We'll view them as a as a person as Ben Chayrin that what that that lost his property. But it's a universal payment for busha. Memela, you clearly see Reb Meir can't be the Tana of the Mishnah. Because you're not making a distinction between a kolafi, this person, the low life, or the prince. It's one, one set, set price to all. Now, you, the, uh, the person according to how big he is, and the, and the, and the person how small he is. Now, apparently, this would be the, make this could be the town of the Mishnah. We're going to see for a reason he's not. Okay, so according to Reb Shimon, we go according to a kolufiyam bias bias. We'll view the usher one way, and we'll view what the onion other way. So again, he could be the town of a mission. In fact, he is. Now the Gemara goes goes through each side money. Who's the town of a mission? E Reb Meir Maslisa Katani a kolufiyam bias from his bias. Reb Meir cool about their dadi nino. Reb Meir put everyone in the same boat, guys. Right? Reb Meir put everyone in the same boat. So it can't be Reb Meir. Because we, the, our mission makes a distinction depending who. Be Rabbi Yehuda now. The Chayyim Rabbi Yehuda could be because he said, "Kadn lefi God, God lefi God, like Kadn lefi Kitnoi." Maslis and Ketani, our Mishnah learns, "Hamavayish es Asuma." Someone embarrasses Asuma. Chayyim. Be Rabbi Yehuda. I mean, Asuma in leboishes. In other words, it can't be Rabbi Yehuda not because of the Brice itself. It can't be Rabbi Yehuda because there's a clause in the safe of the Brice that doesn't work out according to Rabbi Yehuda. It's not the Mavayish Mavayish part. It's the latter part which we didn't state. If someone is Mavayish Asuma, you have to pay Busha. Rabbi Huda says you're not. So Mamela, when Rabbi Huda can't be the Tana of the Seifa, he can't be the Tana of the Reish either. Guys, good? Again, if you look what Rabbi Huda said, Lechari, he could be the Tana. He could fit into a call with the Mavayish Mamisbayish. Because he says, God Lofi, God Lofi, Kit Lofi, right? So he could be. That's not the problem. The problem is the safer to that. The safer is that if you embarrass a summa, a blind person, you chay him. He says, you're not. Says the Gemara, Elolah, Reb Shimon. He must be Reb Shimon. Says the Gemara, no, no. Afilu tem Reb Yehuda. You can even say it's Reb Yehuda. Ki kam Reb Yehuda summa in lay baishes. When did this summa says that? Bausha, the meshakl minate. That's to take payment from him. Avala mesibla, to give him yavin on lay. In other words, we assumed that Reb Yehuda said a car punched in. That the summa is not in the ballpark of Busha at all, whether being embarrassed or paying embarrassment. And he's saying, no, it's not true. He's not in the ballpark of paying embarrassment. He is in the ballpark of being embarrassed. Uh, so then it could be the town of our Mishnah, right? 
because it says Avayish as a sum is chayev. Then Rabbi Yehuda could be the Taina, because again we had no problem with God will be God like that fit in the Avayish on his Avayish. So it says okay, but Gemara continues into Upshlag and that Rabbi Yehuda can't be the Taina of the Mishnah. But when the Tani Sefer, Hamavayish as Hayashan, someone embarrasses a person that's sleeping, chayev. The Yashon Shabiyash Pater, and a Yashon, a sleepy person that embarrasses his Pater. In other words, when the Sefer makes a distinction by a sleeping person, right? We make a distinction. If you embarrass a sleeping person, Yechayev. If he embarrasses your Pater. Now, if that was true by a that was true by a Suma, we should make the same distinction. We should say, a Suma that you embarrass Yechayev, a Suma that embarrasses his Pater. So we don't make that distinction. So it must be when Behuda said, I'm a Vaish Asuma is your potter, it means across the board completely. And my male Rabbi Huda can't be the Tanava Mishnah. So uh Mikhad Lishna, Haki, Vilishna Haki, doesn't make a difference, your potter. Ella Mikhavita must listen to Rabbi Shimon. He the the mission is according to Reb Shimon. Again, it can't be according to Reb Meya, because Rebbe puts everyone in the same boat. It can't be Rabbi Huda, not because he puts everyone in the same boat. It can't be Rabbi Yehuda because Rabbi Yehuda says I'm a Vayish says Suma is Potter and Amish says Chayiv and you can't make a distinction between being embarrassing him and him him being uh, embarrassing others because we make that distinction by a person sleeping we don't make that distinction by a person uh, who's blind. Man Tana Lahod Tana Rabbanon Neskabim LeVayish Es Hakotten you have Kavon to Vayish the Cotton the half mean the guy's Cotton here means a person who is Cotton from his Nechassim that he went down he's he's a poor person. Ubayish is a godl, and he's Mavayish a richer person. Nice in the godl, they made by Shleishel cotton, right? And the Vayish, why? Because you were Mechaven to Mavayish the cotton. We're going to see, fellas, we did see, we saw this in Kate Sadarego. The guy falls off a roof and he lands on a person. He's Chayv to Painesek. He's Potter from Busha because for Busha, you have to be Mechaven. You have to have Kavana, correct? So Lecharvis Kavana over here was for a cotton. So even though he embarrassed the godl, he's going to pay what? The worst of, of, of a person who's down on his luck. Now, money, we're going to go through the same Rebbe Re, 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 Meir, Rebbe Yehud, and Rebbe Shimon, and figure out who, who this is going according to. Again, one more time. You're miskaven for one, you end up with the other. So you're miskaven for a cotton, you end up with a gadol, pay cotton. Miskaven for an eved, get a ben chayrin, pay eved. Good? Money. Who's the Tana? Loi Reb Meir, for Loi Reb Yehuda, for Loi Reb Shimon. Kasal Kedaitoch, Cotton means cotton min chasen, and gadol is gadol min chasen. That's the havamina as we spoke out. I Reb Meir ha'ama kula v'hadir dodi ninu. Reb Meir is easy, right? He can't be. Reb Meir has one set price for no matter who, so there's no distinction between gadol cotton. No difference. Eved eved ben chayri. No difference. He Reb Yehuda Amar again ein la'avod and boishes. Similar to the Suma, he says there's no din of busha by what by an eved. So how can you be mechaved for an eved and you get him in chayr and you pay the busha of an eved? There is no busha by an eved. Peir of Shimon ha'omar the skavin levayis ezeh ubiyish ezeh pata. So therefore, why did the brayser say you mechaved to get the eved? You get the in chayr and you pay the eved. But Reb Shimon, since you mechaved for the eved, you got somebody else to be pata. My timer, katola busha is similar to what katola. Guys, in both cases, you need kavana according to Reb Shimon. In both cases, whether killing someone, embarrassing somebody, you need kavana. Makatola ad miskaven lay, just like katola, till you miskaven to go ahead and kill him in the chesiv, right? For arav lo v'kama love, because the pasuk says. For arav lo v'kama love, right? And you embar- you you ambush him and you rise up against him. And it says or of loy, he were being loy. Actually, is Kavan Loy, Klimakavan Wat for him. So you need Kavana by Katala. Boishas Nami Adam Khavan Lay Dhsiv. The shot of two people are fighting, and a woman comes along. The Shulcha Yada, she sticks at her hand, the Sikum and Vushov, and she grabs him in, in his private place. Actually, is Kavan Loy, Tlim is Kavan. So in, in both cases, what you need Kavana. So therefore, it can't be, guys, let's go. It can't be Reb Meir, because Reb Meir says what? Across the board. It can't be Reb Yehuda, because again, the same safe for the clause, the summa, there's no busha. It can't be Reb Shimon, because Reb Shimon says, Hamaskava levayish hazeh, ubiyish hazeh is pata. So who's the Tana of this b'risa? 
Loyalan Rebbe Yehuda, it's Rebbe Yehuda. He come Rebbe Yehuda in Lavan and Boishes Lemeisve Lahu. Avol that's going given. He doesn't get the Boishes. Avol Lemeishim Shaminam Bahu. But no, it's to evaluate him. You know, it's he doesn't collect Boishes, but you yeah. could evaluate the, his busha. But you can go ahead and evaluate what his busha. The male is very very good. You'll evaluate his busha, and then what will. Uh, Will uh, assess it, so he could be the town of the Mishnah. Because when did Rabbi Yehuda say, "I'm vayish as ain't like Is mean in collection, but the Indian estimating we would. Just in, 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 I'd like to learn the, for Fuah Shleim the Schus Baruch Yitzchak Elimelech Ben Nechama. Baruch Yitzchak Elimelech Ben Nechama. A very healthy person was on his way to Shul Friday, fell, banged his head, and he's in critical condition. Just. Uh, Totally healthy guy. You can even say what? It's Reb Meir. I, Reb Meir said, it's it's a statement. It's one, one, one felt, one stop shopping. It's one one payment. Misav is Gadol, Gadol bin Chassan, Cotton, Cotton bin Chassan, Loi. Gadol is Gadol Mamish. The Cotton is Cotton Mamish. Right? So in other words, it's not evaluating uh, you're not you're not evaluating a person, right? You're evaluating uh, uh, again. There's this uh, a cotton. There's there's a cotton, right? There's a cotton and there's a gadol, and it means a cotton means a cotton who's not a baroinish, and a gadol means is baroinish, right? Right. But if it was a neem and a shir, it would be one one fell swoop. If a neem and a shir, it would be one fell swoop. But it's not speaking about that. It's speaking about gadol and cotton. It says the gemara of a cotton by baishasu. Is the is the cotton of our baishas right? Pirish. So let Rameya guys. Rameya says you won't you won't be mechalic between a rich person and a poor person. There's one price. Everyone's been around, etc. But you would be mechalic between a godol and a cotton. Literally, the Gemara has a problem. But can you possibly embarrass the cotton? The cotton is is, is a cotton. They're not embarrassing. Yeah, Kedama, there are there are Katana that could get embarrassed, as we're going to meet soon. Kedama Papa, right? As the as as our Papa says, the Papa, the Papa says, "Demi demi kalmu le imi kalim." In other words, when you embarrass him, he's not necessarily embarrassed. But when someone repeats it to him, he's embarrassed. This is Rashi. Rashi says it on the on the base. Good Rashi, the top of his base. Keshem askirin le boishes. When you were when you remind him of the boy says my myself mit stire and and then he he will be mit stire uh so kidamara papa the mechami loy mechami loy hakanami i not base the red papa said that here we're gonna apply it also the mechami loy mechami so in other words this brisa could be going according to Rabbi Yehuda this price could be going according to it can't be going to Rabbi Shimon because Rabbi Shimon says mechav mechav get zero zero boy zero boy zero pata loy Rabbi Yehuda ain't boy says the eved that means to collect the boy says but to evaluate him you could. God will be caught in the Kavir Rebbeya. When the Rebbeya says then that you go ahead and evaluate across the board, that's the speaking of the Indian, if it's an Asher or a, an Ani, where it's a cotton and a Godel, he says you would go ahead and give different prices for that, and therefore what? It could be Rebbeya as well. Says the Mishnah, I'm a Vayashesa Arum, someone who embarrasses a person who is is, 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 is without clothing. I'm a Vayashesa Suma, this is the Sefer of Rabbi Yehuda, right? That it can't be a coin to Rabbi Yehuda. I'm a Vayashesa Yashan Chayev. Okay, three cases. An orin person you embarrass, a summa you embarrass, and a, yash, a person that's speaking you embarrass, uh, uh, that's sleeping. However, the yashin should be ish pata. Nafumin agag the hisik, ubiish, chaivalanesik, and pata alabaishis, ache miskavin. This is the Gemara I, I mentioned to you in, in Kates of the Regel. You fall off a roof, you chaif and esik, because other more the oilam, but you be pata for the busha because you weren't miskavin. Now, what exactly says the Gemara Tanabonan? Bishu orin, chaif. You embarrass an arm, Yechayev. The ain't doing a bishu arm, le bishu lavosh. Bishu be based on merchat chayev. You embarrass a person in in, in a bathhouse where people are walking around without clothing on. Chayev. The ain't doing a bishu be bias merchat le bishu be shuk. Amamar bishu arm chayev. Arm bar bushahu is an arm of someone who can be embarrassed. If he's arm, how can he's embarrassed? So Rav Papa, my arm, the asa zika karchinu lemane came along a wind, blew up his his his. They used to wear these long tunics. They blew it up. Vasa who, and this guy came along and he finished the job. The linutve, right? And he, he went ahead and he he, um, he lifted it up more. 
Ubaisha, Beis Amerchatz, Chayiv, Beis Amerchatz, Barbusha, who? Amra Papa, Shabi, Salgabi, and Nahar. You went ahead and you embarrassed him by a river. In other words, in a Chamin, a Beth house, there is no Busha. Hashem came raised by the Nahar, where no one else is there, that would be embarrassing. Now, the Taisus has a really interesting question. The Gemara waited to ask the Kasha that a person that's Aram is embarrassed. They asked it on the Brysa. They didn't ask it on the Mishnah. Look, look at the guys. Tan Rabbanon, we bring the Brysa and going back over the Gemara. Tan Rabbanon, Bishu Aram Chayev. Right? And then the Gemara asks on that, is what? Is a person that's 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 nude? Is is is, is why did Gemara ask right away in the Mishnah, fellas? Right? So Tresis makes a beautiful chilek, fellas. The lotion of Hamavayesh Esa Orem, let's say you would go over to a person that's Orem, and you would take a, a glove and smack him across his face and spit in his face. Would that be embarrassing? Yeah? He, he's not wearing clothing, right? He's not wearing clothing, yeah? And you went ahead and you smacked him in your face or you spit in his face. The Chayra, that, that, that's Busha. Of course you chay for that. Look at the lotion of the Brasha guys. It doesn't say I'm a vayish as arim. It says bishu arim. You embarrassed him in his nakedness. In other words, the embarrassment wasn't a zayt de gazach. It wasn't a separate thing. It wasn't spitting at him, which is a side thing. It wasn't smacking him. You made him more embarrassed in his what? In his in 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 in, in his embarrassment. So, for example, what 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 was Gemara's teretz guys? A wind came along and wanted to do. It lifted up his clothing, so he didn't want to be arim. And when, what did you do? You went ahead and went farther. So by going farther, what did you do? You embarrassed him, etz him in his, in his uh, arm kite. That's why he asked, on, that's why we asked over here. So go out look at the distinction, the, the, the loshim, the difference between Mavayish's arm and Bishu arm. In other words, the embarrassment had to be in his arm. It had to be one in the fact that he wasn't with clothing. It wasn't a Zaitik Abusha. Zaitik Abusha makes sense. He spit in someone's face. No matter what, what state he's in, spitting in his face is embarrassing. Yes, Harold. Uh, I'm not sure if the Gemara is going to explain this. I, I don't understand the Mishnah in, ter in terms of and he's put in the same categories of asuma and a person who's sleeping. I mean, how is that the same category? They're all, an Aram versus a person who's sleeping. People. They're all people that they embarrass others, their partner. Oh, they're embarrassing others. Oh, no, no. I'm saying... Uh, again, uh, no, that's I not don't understand an arm to a yashan or a sumo. The halacha leader all the same. What do you mean the category? I don't. I don't. I, I, I understand. You know, uh, hey, he's I, all, I, I don't. I don't a understand. guy is sleeping. He doesn't know. He doesn't know that he's sleeping, and he, and he gets embarrassed. Or a person is a sumo. He doesn't know. You know, he he can't see, so he's no embarrassment. But a, a person who's arm, he he knows he's naked. He's embarrassed. You know, I understand how that. Uh, you know, that's, we, that, that, that's where I respectfully disagree with you. Just again. If he's in, if he's naked, he knows he's embarrassed. He's not embarrassed. Not the rabbi. Oh, he's not embarrassed because he's. A... You, you got you go to a ball game and a person streaks across the field without clothing. Is that person embarrassed? Oh, so that's okay. So, but, right. you, but if you embarrass that person, you'd be chayev. Why? Let's say you go over that person, spit in that person's face. So okay. that's what chayev. Okay. I, I, I shtel zich on a much more important point. The point is, the Gemara went ahead, I shtel zich on the difference between embarrassing a person that is, in, that is in a state of undress versus the embarrassment in the state of undress itself. What did the Gemara say? Zika, a wind came along and lifted up the person's shirt, and now the person is, is in a state of undress. And then you invite went ahead and embarrassed him, goof in that state. That's a, that's a bigger chiddish. Right? Okay, Baiter. Boy Rav, Boy Rav, Amara are Boy Rav Abba Barmamo. Bisha Yashan, you embarrassed the person while sleep, well, that was sleeping. Umes, and the person died. So the person never knew about this embarrassment. Mahu. My Komi Boyle, one of the two Sodom to the Shiloh. Amrav Zvid Hofi Komi Boyle, here's the two Sodom to the Shiloh. Vishim Kisu for who? Is it that he knows that you embarrassed him? He died and he never knew about it. I don't wish him Zilusa because you cheapened him in front of others. But her eyes lay and he was cheapened. In other words, is it a, do you go after the person himself or you go after the circumstances? You look look at the person. The person, if he never knew about it, so it's not considered Busha, 
or it's nothing to do with him. The fact is, the situation was an embarrassing situation. You see, you see a person there, uh, people with cell phones. So a guy's sleeping in the street, right? Someone comes along and 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 then does something not nice to the person. The person dies. He never knew about it. But everyone else knew about it. That's Elusa, right? That's Elusa. Everyone else knew about it. That would be a good way to explain Elusa. So do you go after his busha, the, the kisufa, and he never knew about it? Or no? Tashma, Rameo, Aimer, Cheresh for cotton, Yesh Lem Boishes. A Cheresh in the cotton has busha, Shaita, a person that's deranged, ain't like Boishes. I am a Bishlema Mishim Silusa. If you're going to tell me it has to do with what others like being cheap in front of others, I'm the Tony Cotton. El e amit mishum kisufa cotton by boishes who? El amai mishum zilusa afilu shaitanami. So if you're going to tell me vis a vis other people, so where do you make the distinction between a cherish and a cotton and a shaita? A shaita also you should be chayiv busha. If it has nothing to do with the individual fellas, it has nothing to do with his individual embarrassment. It has to do with others. Then there shouldn't be a distinction between cherish shaita or a cotton. Correct? The, 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 just as the cotton yichayim, the cherish yichayim, you should be chayiv on the shaita as well. Says my army, shaita in the chabaishas gedayla misu. The busha of the shaita is nothing bigger than that. There's not, nothing bigger than that. Mikol makan nifshit minah di mishum zilusa. Who? Let's be poishit. Let let's 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 be poishit zilusa. Who? Let's be poishit about that. He's uh. Let's just one second. I say so. The gemara says let's be poishit. So you took care of shaita because no bigger fool the uh, busha than being a shaita. Mashain came out, Mashain came a cotton. You said that you chayev, right? It must be Mishim Zilusa, right? That because of you know public embarrassment. Says Gemara Kedom Rav Papa. So we said let's be poish the Shaila Kedom Rav Papa. The Michlu Lei Umechalim. Enochinami he has his own personal busha. In other words, forget about the cotton. This is the test we gave him the Aleph, that he is one that if you remind him what happened, will be embarrassed. So in that case, what you see, you can't be poish the Shaila. Hachanami de Mechamalei Mechalein. Rapa Ba Mahachi Kami Barley. Here's a Shiloh. Mishum Kisufa di Dehu Ba Mayasle. His own embarrassment and, and he's dead. Aitilma Mishum Baishas Mishpacha. It's a Bushaf and a Mishpacha and he, they're alive. Tashma. Kerish the cotton Yesh Blay Baishas. Shaita in the Baishas. Iyan Bishlaim Mishum Baishas Mishpacha. Handed to any cotton. Again, we're going through the same assumption that a cotton does not have its own personal Bushah. Eli Amin Mishum Kisufa di Deh. Cotton by Bushahu. Elamai, my mishum boishes the benei mishpacha. I feel a shaita nami, the same kasha, same teretz. Shaita ain lecha boishes kedai lemisu. The kolmaka mishum ino the mishum boishes mishpacha. Let's see boishes from cotton that you get. You pay busha for the mishpacha, not for the cotton. The mishum kisufa the cotton, cotton by kisufa who? A papa in the mechalim le mechalim. I vatanya is a raya, guys. Vatanya is a raya now. Vatanya, Rebbe Yoyim mecheres sheish le boishes. Shaita ain leboishes. A cheres does have boishes. A shaita doesn't. Cotton, palm in yesh lay, palm in main lay. Offense, it depends. Had the mechal me lay and machlein. If you remind him of it, he'll be right and embarrassed. Had the machlein lay and machlein. If you remind him, he won't be embarrassed. So it depends on the individual. Okay, we'll stop over here. Wish everyone a good.